Good evening and welcome to the Perkins Garages YouTube channel for a Ford Tornio Custom Sport walk around video. But before we get started, if you are enjoying our content, hit on the subscribe button and never miss a moment of our content ever again. This here is a magnetic grey Ford Tornio Custom Sport L1 featuring the 2 litre Eco Blue engine producing 185 PS of power. That 185 PS of power is then transmitted through the front wheels through a 7 speed automatic gearbox. The vehicle is registered on a 2021 registration, meaning we're taking Ford warranty with us until March 2024. The vehicle has done just over 24,000 miles, but like always, I'll we'll get the exact number once we're on the dash in a moment. So I can appreciate it is getting dark out of here, so with a bit of uh, forward planning I'll be glad to get the exterior all done before it gets dark and once we're inside we can look at the screen all lit up in its beauty. So the near side front is the first port of call then displaying to you the remote central locking key is the next. Clicking on the unlock button is going to wake up the beautiful daytime running lights. They give you the ultimate visibility no matter the lighting condition. A quick disclaimer if they're flashing in your video I'm sorry it's simply because the frequency in which my camera records at. Inside there are the by Xenon HID headlights, are some of the best headlights on the Ford range today. Taking a step back now, we can see we have front fog lights and front parking sensors trailing across that front lip of the bumper. A little dully black bit in the middle there, that is a front facing radar responsible for some of the driver assistance pack, such as pre collision assist. I shall cover the driver assistance pack in its entirety once I'm inside the vehicle. Starting to move ourselves around now, we eventually come to these beautiful 17 inch machine cut alloy wheels. We have the silver shiny face with a gloss black just behind. They look absolutely beautiful. The tyres fitted to this vehicle are the Michelin Primacy 3 tyres as standard. And again, I thought I'd leave one ajar as they're in very good condition. I'm going to draw your attention north quickly to talk about a few sensors. We have a sensor there, which is a light sensor. So at this time of day, when the sun goes down and the moon is coming up, your lights will come on automatically. Furthermore, at the top of the windscreen there, we have three more. Going from left to right, the left-hand one is a light sensor for the automatic high beam. The little triangular shaped one in the middle, it is a traffic speed sign recognition camera. This can be used in coordination with the intelligent speed limiter. And the right hand side is a rain sensor for the rain sensing wipers. Starting to make our way around the vehicle now. So on the driver's door is the security locks ensuring it's only you getting in this vehicle. The Tornio Custom Sport comes with rear privacy glass as standard and it really aids with that two-tone colourway. So with the gloss black wheels and the rear privacy glass, this looks lovely. So at this stage of the video, I'm going to take a step back and gently shimmy the camera all the way down the off side of the vehicle. All right, so hopefully displaying how beautiful all of these body panels are. So at the bottom now, the offside rear bumper, we can just spin the camera around and show you the offside rear. There we are. Okay. Moving ourselves around the rear bumper, we have rear parking sensors all the way around that rear bumper, I'll come to that in a minute, and they continue on that bottom lip of the bumper there. These rear parking sensors are complemented beautifully with a high definition reversing camera. Drawing our attention over to the near side of the vehicle now, we're going to try and give it the exact same treatment as we did the off side. So starting nice and high up. And those beautiful new outdoor lights of ours are working a treat there for these shorter days. Sell too many cars for me to get all the media in, which is a big thank you. There we are. That's the near side. Now we can go down to the near side rear wheel. Looks fantastic. And now we can follow that all the way down to the near side front wheel and give you a good look at that. So I mentioned at the start of this video, this has the 2 litre Eco Blue engine. What do I mean by Eco Blue? That means it has an Ad Blue reservoir. Ad Blue is a solution that um, basically it gets sprayed onto the exhaust gases, eliminating nitrous oxide, making this a nice clean exhaust burn. Meaning this is a ULES and also a Euro 6.2 compliant vehicle. Ad Blue is a fantastic system. On all diesel vehicles to make them a nice clean exhaust. 
Anywho, that's enough about the mechanics lesson. I'm sure you're all falling asleep. So this is the uh, the boot or tailgate section of this beautiful Tornio Customer Sport. In there is, and honestly, trust me on this, I've done it, enough room for a baby alligator. So up to 10 years old, the alligator fits in lengthways. You have to curl the tail around, but all serious, so you get ample of suitcases. We have eight seats in this vehicle. I reckon you're gonna get eight suitcase stacked up. Not a problem. Couple of dogs, not an issue. Um, Gold posts, depends how you stack them. Fishing rods, not an issue. Anyway, that's enough about that. It'll be dark soon, Dan. Underneath here is a full-size spare wheel uh, with all the relevant tools and jacks supplied underneath the driver's seat to get you out of trouble if you shall get in it. Underneath that cover there is the rear air conditioning blower motor, which I shall come to in a second. Okay, so that is the exterior all taken care of. Now let me show you my demonstration inside the rear. So let me give you six seats in the rear of this Tornio. Ah, aha, these are folded down. So I thought I'd just show you the rear seats to begin with. So there we are. The uh, two end seats are always ISO fixing seats. If you do carry those smaller humans of this world, clip their kiddie seats in, keep them nice and secure on transit. That said, these other two are also ISO fixings. So you get four ISO fixings in total in this vehicle. I've left this middle one down as a demonstration because the middle seat can also double up as a table slash cup holder as well. The party piece for these Tornio Custom Sports are the seats. I can't lie to you about that. So I'll just fold them in half and if I pull on this lever here, that will then pull the seat up into this position and from there you can then extract that whole seat as one unit out of the vehicle. So whether you only required two seats, I needed to take the six rear seats out and have a transit van for the day. The possibilities are endless. But at the moment we are having looking at two banks of three facing forward. This row can rotate 180 degrees, so you have two rows of three facing each other. So effectively this seat here will become the right hand seat facing forward. All the maps interchangeable as well, so as you do so, they will swivel around, making it all perfectly laid out once again. So rear passenger, uh, comfort, entertainment, let me talk you through it. Each window has a sun blind, retractable sun blind, keeps the sun out of their eyes. Everyone has a phone these days, you need to charge your phone. Six seats, you have six USBs. Two down there, two more down here, and two on the back of the handbrake. So every single passenger in the rear is going to be nicely charged up when you get to your destination. Draw your attention to the roof where we have a rear lighting system. This is probably the brightest I've ever seen it to be honest with you. Uh, rear speaker system and rear air conditioning ducts. The rear air conditioning controls we found on that lovely panel there. Wonderful. So that is effectively the rear of a, a Tornio Custom Sport in a nutshell. If you want to see two banks of three facing each other, please scroll down on my recent video somewhere and I've done hundreds of them over the over the years so you'll find one in that configuration of me probably talking the exact same as I've just talked now so anyway that's the rear now perfect timing as it's nearly dark here at Perkins garages to look inside the driver's seat so the driver's door card we have two electric windows we have folding mirror we have the electric mirrors and the, obviously the adjustments around them as well interior locking can be found just left of the door handle I'm a big fan of door cards. If you watched my videos before, you know my obsession by a perfectly designed door card. Where you put in your lunchbox, where you put in your coffee flask, where you put in your water bottle, where you put in your Costa, where you put in your meal deal. You've got to have it. This is a very convenient system. As I referred to earlier, underneath the driver's seat, Bosch is the tools and jacks required to change the spare wheel on the side of the road. Lifting the camera up now, we can have a look at the seats themselves. All seats are the same, so eight seats, which are half leather, part cloth in the lower back and base sections. You see that nice diamond pattern there, but very comfortable, very durable seats. As you can see, the condition of this leather is near enough perfect. It is in such great condition, uh, leather there. So these are electrically adjustable seats so please count with me we have a one and a two way a three and a four five and a six seven and an eight a nine and a ten way electrically adjusted seat 
I'm just going to jump inside the vehicle now. You may hear a little bit of distortion on my microphone, so please just bear with me for a moment. Okay, like magic, we're now inside the vehicle. So, quickly put, depressing my foot on the brake even. It's Friday evening, guys, bear with me. Turn the key round, that gains us power to the vehicle. So, I'm going to give you a quick tour around the dashboard and everything you need to know. Well, let me just turn the air conditioning off, otherwise you won't be able to hear me. Okay, the left-hand side of the dashboard there is an RPM times 1000 gauge, counting the revolutions of the crankshaft, otherwise known as the output power of the engine. At the bottom there, we have a coolant temperature sensor. We have a, a gear selector indicator, because this is the automatic variant, and also a fuel gauge. On the furthest right-hand side there, we have an analog speedo with miles per hour around the outside and kilometers an hour in the middle. In the middle section is a digital driver display. I'm going to be controlling that display using the return, the OK up and down, and the menu button on the right-hand side of the steering wheel. I just zoom in for this event. So the top left of the screen is the odometer. So I said this vehicle had done 24,000 miles. I actually lied. It's actually 23,990.4. At the top of there, we also have the auto light functions. You can see the lights are currently on auto. And we have the ambient air temperature. It's quite chilly, 8 degrees. At the bottom there, we also have the traffic speed sign. So it, we've gone past the 60 sign on the way to the garage there. Look, so let's pick that up. And we also have the auto stop start information. Scrolling down on the arrows, we come into different trip computers. We have My View, so in My View you can customize what you'd like to see on a screen. Where well, it's a trip computer, Eco Coach, Calm Screen, we have digital speedometer on there, fuel economy, so you can customize this to your preference. Coming down once more, we're onto the driver assistance. So if I just expand that menu, the driver assistance pack on this vehicle includes blind spot assist. So in the end of both wing mirrors is a blind spot, oh, it's too dark, blind spot assist monitor there. And that, little, that will illuminate orange if someone's in your blind spot either on the near side or the off side of your vehicle. So very lovely bit of technology indeed. Pre-collision assist, as I mentioned earlier. We have a traffic site recognition, lane keeping system, driver alert, cross traffic alert, eco coach, cruise control, and your speed limiter, which I mentioned earlier can be set to intelligent and that will work in a coordination with the speed sign, traffic speed sign. Down once more into navigation, once more into audio, and once more into phone connectivity. We can expand the settings there, and we have all display settings, also vehicle settings, such as, for example, lighting for your auto high beam, or down to mirrors for auto folding mirrors. Everyone loves an auto folded mirror, who doesn't? And we've got the remote start there as well. If you don't know what remote start is, please download the Ford Pass Connect app. And once you purchase this vehicle, you can connect one and two together. And that will give you the ability of remote starting. So you can start the vehicle without being in it. Isn't that a fantastic design? So you can set your climate control, your heated seats, even to the duration of that as well. So whilst you're having your coffee in the morning, all your neighbours are awfully jealous because your vehicle is getting warmed up whilst you're still in the comfort of your own house. So anyway, that's the vehicle settings. Coming out there, that is a really lovely menu. It's really nice to uh, navigate around. Anyway, let's continue. So the right-hand side of the steering wheel, again, the arrows control the screen, voice command button, pick up to climb previous and next song function. The left-hand side of the steering wheel is where you'll find the adaptive cruise control controls. <laughs> so we have standby top right, we have your speed limiter bottom right. We can set your speed using the little toggle switch in the middle there. So set your speed plus or minus in increments of five miles per hour. We have cancel and this button here is for the adaptive cruise control. So this cruise control system will adapt its speed based on the vehicle in front of you. So this button will set the distance to the vehicle in front. Very, very clever, I tell you. If you're not using cruise control already, start using it because it's fantastic for your MPG. You really will see a noticeable difference because it's going to be the vehicle determining the rev range rather than your right foot, so you're not going to be burning diesel or petrol unnecessarily. Below we have media controls such as volume minus, volume plus, and also a mute button. Progressing now into the central reservation of the... V Is it better with a light on, do we think? 
yeah I'd say so so here is the controls for the beautiful automatic gearbox could be considered to be a semi-automatic because we have the up and down function on the right hand side we can bring it down to the relevant gear positions let me release the handbrake first I've learned from my lesson into reverse there then that summons the reversing camera uh, so you've got a very lovely high definition rear camera with your proximity for the front and rear parking sensors on the top right hand side of the screen returning the vehicle back into park and applying the handbrake again so I don't forget so we're going to start down here and we'll cover the screen in a second so we've got some lovely adjustable cup holders another 12 volt socket so that's three 12 volt, three 12 volt sockets in total another usb a this one's perfect for your data connection so if you plan on using apple carplay or android auto plug your phone in using a usb data cable in that port there and that will mirror your phone onto the sync 3.4 module just above it there we have all the controls for the heating ventilation and air conditioning this vehicle is fitted with two heated front seats which are three-way electrically adjustable in the middle there is the button for the electronically heated front windscreen again a beautiful bit of specification for the winter months we have a obviously on and off for your heating ventilation and aircon we have rear demist different flows events recirculation and air conditioning can be found just below it the rocket to the right hand side is your temperature controls with max demist to the right and max air conditioning to the left we have a parade of buttons just next to it one one's one going from left to right uh, we've got the trash control off button we have a mode button so this vehicle comes with a normal and also an eco drive mode the p button is to turn off the parking sensors and the p button with the steering wheel will activate ford self park assist so if i can draw your attention to the sync module once again yes this vehicle will quite literally park itself for you so if you do struggle with your parking why not purchase a vehicle that will park itself it's a fantastic idea and that includes parallel park in you've got a bay park in and also a parallel park out wonderful use the indicators to dictate which side of the road you shall be parking on there we are follow the steering and uh, it's trying to pick up that potential parallel parking opportunity in front of me which obviously we are not going to do so exit that system once again so this is a sync 3.4 module let's see if this is better with the light off yeah i reckon so we have audio bottom left in audio we have various sources such as am fm dab and bluetooth audio phone connectivity we have your navigation in there so navigation click on the search box there nice and easy to use i'm a big fan of it if you'd like to come to perkins to look at this tornado charlie mike 77 oh, click accept the license first guys don't accept the license it won't let you use it cm 77 6 s a simple as that click the search box and that will navigate you straight here to perkins garages Click on the return arrow, once again, back to your home screen. So I mentioned earlier, this screen is fully supportive of Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So plug your phone in using USB data cable, and it will mirror your phone on the screen. Take advantage of your voice assistant on your mobile, such as Google Assistant or Siri. And from there, your voice assistant can do a whole multitude of things whilst you're not touching your phone at all. Whether it's making calls to home, setting navigation, playing Elton John, anything you like you keep your hands off your phone the uh, another advantage of that is you can use third-party apps on your screen so for example a lot of people like using apple maps google maps Waze, as that shows speed cameras and things like that don't know why you want that uh, so yes they are all compatible on the screen i myself an apple user so i get the benefit of apple podcasts apple music but it's a very user-friendly system and most people i doubt would buy a vehicle without apple carplay to be completely honest with you so covered that that is the screen if you had any more questions about that please do give us a call and i can just explain it all to you right in the interest of keeping this under 20 minutes very quickly beautiful document holder this one here oh, we'll click the button we have the eight eighth usb a port in this vehicle every single person can charge their phone along with three 12 volt sockets if that wasn't enough and you're not well charged enough down here down here down here that there is a 230 volt 150 watt plug socket i don't know what you'd do with that that is up to you but that will charge things power things 
lovely. Thanks for watching. If you need any more information, please do give Perkins Garages a phone call on 01376 550 899. If you like the video, please like the video and hit the subscribe button to never miss a minute of our content ever again. Goodbye for now.